Hello everybody. On this video, I want to talk about the traps of an indie maker and how you can avoid falling on them. Basically, a trap of an indie maker is what happens to a programmer when he's working by himself with no deadline. Now, when you're making a product, you don't need to have the best, most, fastest, modern, uh, elegant code. That is a trap. Don't fall in there. The best code is the code that is finished and the code that is working. So if you have a code that is working, don't worry about stuff like, oh, it's not so elegant or I'm going to change this function to make it very efficient and more pretty or whatever. Don't fall on this trap, all right? Don't fall on it. Uh, because it happens to me as well. When I finish something, I'm like, maybe I can, I can optimize it here, maybe I can optimize it there. Maybe if I refactor this thing and I make it more complex, but I make it more programming efficient or whatever it is, and more elegant, it's not good. Because you spend lots of time there and trust me, your users don't give a shit if your code is elegant or not, they just want it to be working, all right? So when you're done with your code, make it, try to make it look nice and whatever, but don't just overdo it. Now the second trap is the tools. People try to use the most modern tools or they try to over-engineer stuff. So for example, if you are making a blog, if you are making a website that is a static, that you only need images and HTML, and it's something very simple, don't do it on React, don't do it on Django. Use something like WordPress. You do use something like GitHub Pages, right, for example. Um, don't over-engineer your solution. If you're making a blog, maybe you don't need Django, you need just WordPress, right? If you're making... Uh, I don't know, if you're making a static page that doesn't need a backend, don't buy a dom uh, hosting and don't upload it and create, just use GitHub pages, all right? So that's the second trap. Don't over-engineer stuff. Try to go as simple as you can. And I know you're a programmer and you want to code, but also don't overdo it if it's not necessary. The third thing is that don't do stuff that is already there. So I know it's your own project and you want to make it like your baby, but don't do stuff that is already been built. Like don't write it again. Don't use a very independent, very fancy hipster framework for Django if you already have, uh, for, sorry, for Python, if you already have Django, right? So use what is built. Uh, try to save as much time as you can, all right? And that takes me to my last point. Stand on the shoulders of giants. Try to use as many tools as you can and don't code if they, if, they, if they exist out there, all right? And try to use stuff that is supported. Don't use experimental stuff that is going to give you headaches. Don't use stuff that is super new that doesn't have any documentation. Don't use something that has like very small community because you're not going to have uh, questions on the internet when you have questions and you're not going to see solutions. So use stuff that is tested. Use stuff that is solid. Use a stuff that has a community, so you don't waste time trying this new tool, but then you're like, oh, fuck it, let's try this. Like, don't try this framework, and then different framework, and then different framework. This is good when you're making a hobby project, and when you are making like a learning project. If you wanna try some different frameworks, awesome. When you're making your project, your product, and you wanna finish as fast as you can, go for the safe bet, go for Django, go for React, go for Vue, and go for what is like tested, and has a, a very big community, and has a lot of tools around. So that's it. Hello. Hi, uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like it, let me know. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff. See you on the next one. Bye bye.